there is ways to save money even while homeschooling because if you're a homeschooler, you know how that goes. You supply all of your own supplies for homeschooling. What the heck? T. What? Why is your face? What the heck? <laughs> So we had an early day out of school because the heat is just so bad and our school room does not have air conditioning. But it looks like tomorrow we're supposed to have a break in the heat. I know a lot of schools throughout Iowa had to release early due to the heat today. And usually homeschool we don't have to due to the weather, but the temperatures are just ridiculous today. And this room is so hot. And with our bigger windows and stuff, the heat just comes in. I'm hoping by next school year, to have air conditioning available in this room so hopefully anyway i'm putting this together for the kids these are art project um folders that i just made up i took two of the big sheets of art paper and stapled them together because they don't want and i don't blame them they don't want holes put in their art projects and then they can just to like have them put into their binders then they can just slide their art projects right inside the folder and we'll keep those ongoing for the year. And I usually put on the back, I have them put their name on this one. I didn't have to have Braxton because he put his name on it. But I have them put their name on the back and then I put what project we were working on. So this was for their complimentary colors. And I'm going to show you Zane's today because he did finally get his done and it's, it's super cute. He did a great job on it. I was really impressed with how each of the kids... Like, Zane and Ireland did the same thing, but they did two completely different projects, even though it was the same thing. And then Braxton did, of course, the middle school level of what I would have them do for this. So I was just, I like to see what each of the kids came up with when working on the same type of project. And I just wanted to let you guys know, if you noticed I haven't responded to any comments in the last couple of days, I do apologize. I will be getting to your comments today. I try to do them at least once a day and respond to comments, but with everything going on for Braxton and trying to get things prepared, I just didn't get a chance to sit down. So I will be getting to your comments today. Don't think that we're not seeing them because we are. I just haven't had a chance to respond, but I will do that anyway, today. Matt found a website for me that I'm about to go on here um, because, of course, our kids are homeschooled, so there isn't any like funding or anything for like that. That's all done through us. So our supplies and all of that stuff, that is done through us. So I'm always looking for cheaper ways to come up with like getting supplies and stuff like that for the kids, especially the ones that are really consumable. So like our construction paper, our regular loose leaf paper, pencils, pens, glue, all of those things we go through a lot of um you'd be surprised school glue like okay school for us hasn't even been in session for a full month we're on our fourth week right now of school so we've already gone through if i combined the two bottles of glue together that the kids did we've already gone through one full bottle of elmer's school or elmer's of school glue um crayons colored pencils water colored paint shaving cream for Aspen, for preschool, all of that kind of stuff, even scissors. Um, I'm looking to get a really nice pencil sharpener. I'd love to have one of the old school ones like we used in school where they were on the wall and you sharpened with those. I love those. So I'm actually looking for one and I'm hoping I can find one through this site or at least a really nice electric because right now this is what we're using to sharpen pencils and it's horrible. It sucks. I've actually gone through two of these sharpeners, and they're just dollar store sharpeners, but I've gone through two of these sharpeners in the three weeks that we've had class going because between sharpening colored pencils and regular pencils, it really takes a toll on the blades. So I'm looking for a decent sharpener. Anyway, he found a site for me that he said, and I keep looking up because I want to show you guys, he said I should be able to get, one of the things I've been looking for is, okay, I have a ton of construction paper for the kids. So at the beginning, I showed you guys that art supplies haul, and we got a ton of construction paper. There was like four packages of construction paper, which you would think would last for a while. But when we're doing projects and stuff like the lap books, it takes a toll on specific colors. And so I've been wanting to be able to order them by the color. Like I have, and I need to put these in their books. These were drying from the other day. I have their lap book pieces drying 
And of course we use both sides and then I'll put these in between or underneath a heavy book and I'll flatten them out so they fit together better. I usually use a, uh, an old history book. It's like this thick or our children's dictionary and I'll set it on top and then it'll flatten these out and they'll staple together really nice. But we use a lot of the same color like when doing a lap book and I like to let the kids pick out what colors they want to make their books so it makes it more fun for them and more enjoyable to do it. Like any time that they're able to have control over a situation is it's a good feeling for a kid to feel like they're in control. So if you can pick out the color for your lap book or things like that, but it takes a toll on our construction paper. So if they decide that they want an all pink book and we're having to do 12 pages of lap books, you get the idea. So then I'm out of pink and I've got to go buy another ream that has all these other colors that I don't need. So he found a place where I can get reams of 50 pieces of single color and it has way cooler colors too. Like you can get magenta, you can get lilac, you can get all these different colors or you can get a big ream of 2,500 sheets that has all the colors for like $66 I think he said. So but you get more of each of the colors in one. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna go on and check it out and see what other supplies I can find at a reduced price there. So just a tip, there is ways to save money even while homeschooling because if you're a homeschooler, you know how that goes. You supply all of your own supplies for homeschooling. So this website that he found for me is called Discount School Supply. So I'm about to check through it, see what's on there, but this is where you can, oh, fall, I'm all excited. Fall Craft Collection Booklet. Oh, it's a free download, it looks like. Cool. So it looks like this is geared towards like towards classrooms and homeschoolers. Guys, so this is just not a normal vlogging day for me. I have been online all day looking for homeschool resources. So what I'm actually trying to find is like homeschool groups for our state, things like that, because I know that there's a lot of areas where there's like homeschooling families that get together, they do activities, socialization for the kids. Um, I'm also looking into different sports and stuff so that they have not just socialization among some of the few friends that they have, but an opportunity to socialize in a broader spectrum. Plus, I've been looking at graduation ceremonies in Iowa, and I did find one um, organization that actually holds a traditional graduation ceremony, cap, gown, diploma, and all that, because I have a couple that are going to graduate high school, and I want them to have that traditional graduation ceremony. Right, guys, so T and I are, like, sighing right now. I love rain, but it really... Yeah, it's pouring. Matt called back, so we got the loan to put our roof on. So that's a good thing. But now it's a matter of getting the roofer here to get the roof put on. So Matt called back the original gentleman that gave us an estimate. Hopefully he'll get back to us, but he also called several other people to come in and give us estimates because as of yet, he hasn't gotten back to us. And the roof's still leaking. So, and it's pouring rain outside well, It right stops now. for like 10 to 15 minutes and then it just like randomly starts pouring. Yeah, makes you wanna cry. What the heck? T. What? Why is your face? What the heck? <laughs> okay, I know you guys can't see this and I don't even know if it's gonna show up on the video, but I'm gonna leave that moment in there because literally my lips in the view screen were like, like... she got bad lip injections. <laughs> it was like tangerine orange, like the brightest orange I could possibly think of. And T had a red line around her face. That was crazy. I don't know what's going on. I think the view screen might be glitching out. Might be. 